Dwight Howard is mostly known for his dominating dunks and impressive boards, but a sometimes underappreciated part of his game happens on the defensive side of the court. Tonight, Dwight Howard sketches out how to erase a shot in the art of the block. As a guy goes up, in my mind, I'm trying to time his shot and time when I should jump because some guys are very tricky, so you never know when they're going to really put the ball up. You know, so I just try to time it at the right moment and jump right before he gets ready to shoot. That way I can get him. Goes up top to Carter. He'll jab on Richard. Now drive. Spins in the paint. Circus shot blocked away by Howard. Where did he come from? He just materialized in midair. A layup is probably the best one, especially when a guard or, you know, a small forward or even the center is going to the basket. And um, I'm not checking them, but one of my teammates are. And they're really going to see me coming. Avoiding head fakes can be a challenge. Oh, those are tough. You know, it depends on who the player is. If I know that they head fake a lot, then um, they're pretty good. But some of the guys get very tricky and it's hard. You know, so I just usually try to just wait till they throw the ball up and then try to get it. When he blocks a shot, Dwight likes to direct the ball in a specific direction. Well, personally, I like to throw the ball out, you know, because I really love to hear the crowd, you know, ooh, oh, wow. I really love hearing that. You know, my teammates get mad, they like just hit the ball in bounds, you know, so we can start fast break or, you know, get the ball back. Because once I block the shot, it goes out of bounds, the team might get it back in sport, you know, so they're always yelling at me and just hitting the ball too hard. Goes right past him, put it up, blocked by Howard, and that'll close out the quarter. A terrific block by Dwight to close the first quarter out. 